Hi, this is Micah Williamson from Clyde Point Geographics. Today we're going to have a very quick overview discussing ArcGIS 10.5 that just got dropped last week. So we're going to discuss some of the enterprise roles and what that means to you. We're going to discuss a possible new deployment tool coming from Esri next month and also very quickly touch on the users that might affect your organization. Almost every slide has links down at the bottom so make sure that you see all those. ArcGIS 10.5 is a significant release for Esri's system. It represents, from what they said, about a billion dollars of research and development uh, over the last few years and they're calling it a complete deployable web GIS system. What has mostly changed is ArcGIS Server, which is now ArcGIS Enterprise. And it's more than just a name change on this. What Esri is doing is having these roles that are a part of uh, the solution. They're talking about five specific roles, ArcGIS Server, Image Server, Geo Event Server, and geoanalytics server as well as business analyst server. These different types of roles are really meant for deployment in an environment that can have each one of these on a different box. The idea is to be able to help distribute your geoprocessing across multiple different servers. So you have one server for ArcGIS server, one server for image server, one server for geo events server, one for geo analytics, and one for business analyst. Something you need to keep in mind that some of these different roles are premium roles and not with your standard Esri enterprise licensing. Another thing you need to be aware of is this is kind of how it has been in the past, but we just had to install ArcGIS server along with any extension that we were putting onto that server. Large scale IT shops have already been doing this, so it's not that big of a change for them. ArcGIS Pro has taken another step forward in 10.5 with tighter integration with server enterprise, and a lot of the new developments are all within ArcGIS Pro. This includes their new solutions deployment tool that is alluded to in the blog um, that is referenced at the bottom of the screen. This tool seems to be a game changer and let me explain. A few years ago when Esri came out with a local government information model, that was the focus of what we thought the solutions were, was this LGIM schema. That never really took off the way Esri wanted to it and we tried to cajole and, and jam all these organizations data into the LGIM um, but they've had a long time to get used to their schema and moving to a completely new schema is a little bit of a change for a lot of people. So everybody kind of panicked and had a, a, a big problem with it and it never really took off but everybody wanted the solutions. So now what Esri is doing with the solution deployment tool will say, you know what, don't worry about the local government information model as much. We want you to get the solutions, but not have to worry so much about the LGIM. So they're kind of taking a step back a little bit and saying, yeah, you can go ahead and use the solutions that you want and get the solutions that you want, but you can also keep it in your own data, your own schema as well. So the screenshots in the blog provided kind of show this walkthrough of this workflow of how to be able to uh, use the tool, select a actual app that you want, and then it will help you then populate that app if you're connected to a portal of some kind to with whatever data that you have that would populate it. Or if you don't have the data, it'll give you a blank schema that is the LGIM, but it'll uh, allow you to be able to import your data as well. Go to the blog link at the bottom of this video and you can determine what you think this deployment tool will do by yourself. Also, uh, speaking of tools, we want to point out the fact that not all tools are available in ArcGIS Pro, something that you need to be aware of. Esri has a link that kind of helps explain what is not yet available in Pro. That brings us to the last point of topic that I want to discuss, which is user levels. Esri is adding two more user levels but it's a good thing because it's something that we've kind of asked for. What they're doing is adding what's called a viewer and contributor or level one and level two of ArcGIS Online. Uh, those are ArcGIS Online only users. The viewer obviously just views and the contributor can create, update and share and uh, edit out in the field. It's kind of what you would use for the field folks on Collector. This all in addition to your normal ArcGIS desktop levels of user with basic, standard, and advanced. 
they're kind of changing those names to be analyst, curator, and expert. The nomenclature that they're trying to simplify kind of just shows by default what a person can do with the software based on their user level. Um, yesterday or the day before, as we came out with ArcGIS Online sub subscription plans, and those are on their site as well, so that you can kind of go to that and see it. It doesn't exactly uh, divvy out what you get based on user level one and level two, but I'm expecting that to change in the next few weeks as well. Since all of this is just dropping, Esri is kind of helping us by uh, traveling around and giving user seminars. They did this a few years ago when they came out with, I think it was 10.1, they went around the country and kind of give this uh, question and answer period. So that's what it's happening now. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any release dates for 2017. Um, I'm sure in July, January that'll come out. So there's been a ton here. Uh, we didn't even mention things like Arcade or the Arc Python API or even new versions of different applications like Survey123 or Web App Builder Developer. It's more of a release season. So keep in tuned and we'll be able to uh, let you know as soon as we find out as well. All right. Thanks for watching. I told you it was going to be a very quick overview. If you want any more content, click the link for more tutorials and helpful information that has anything to do with ArcGIS. Thanks again for watching.